Good morning all. A little update to my uh, pick tutorial number two, the LED blinky tutorial, where we got this uh, LED to flash on and off at a speed that you can actually see it. Now I'm using this uh, standalone. I've just got five volts from a power bank, which I've plugged into here. So there's no connection to the programmer. Now here's the code that we put into the pick 12F675. Uh, this is the loop section. This first line turns the LED on. It's actually a bit clear. It takes the output of the pick low, but since the LEDs are wired, well, they're actually wired like this. They're wired with a VDD going into the anode and the cathode being pulled down to ground. They actually light up when you put a zero on the output of the pick. So this first instruction turns the LED on. Then there's the delay. Now you can actually see that delay and we're creating it just using one no-op. The only reason that no-op produces a visibly long enough delay to see is because there's a big capacitor on the resistor capacitor input, uh, GP5, pin two that would be. Then we have um, bit set file and of course that turns the LED off. And then we have another no-op. But then of course there's a go to which takes you back to the beginning of the loop. Now some keen eyed viewers notice that the on time is noticeably shorter than the off time. And that's because the LED is on for this period, the gap between these two instructions, which is a no op. The LED is off for this period, the gap between this instruction and back to the first one, which has a no op and a go to. And whereas a no op, a no operation is a one cycle instruction, one machine cycle. Now, of course, that's four clock cycles because the clock is divided by four internally. A go to is actually two machine cycles. So I've added these delay times in a no op is one cycle delay. The other no op is, is also, of course, a one cycle delay, but there's a two cycle delay for the go to. So the on time is a one cycle delay. The off time is actually three cycles delay. Now, of course, you've got to add in the delay of the BCF and BSF instructions. Now, all instructions other than branches uh, in the PIC are one cycle. So this is also a one cycle delay. So the total on time is two cycles. The total off time is actually four cycles. And that's why it's spending twice as long off as it is on. Now this is only a problem because we've made these uh, very short instructions very long by using this tantalum capacitor. It's actually 3.3 microfarads. Uh, this wouldn't be a problem if we had a lot of delay code in here, a lot of CPU time being wasted calculating delays because the time of the go to two cycles relative to the hundreds of thousands of cycles of delay to slow this down enough if it were using something like the four megahertz clock would be virtually unnoticeable. But um, it's worth bearing in mind that uh, this system for switching the LED on and off is going to be asymmetric. Uh, doesn't matter how long these delays are. It's just that with these delays being very short, these no ops being very short, the go to time is actually very significant. So how can we fix this? Well, we can do it quite easily because if we move this no op from the off time into the on time delay, then the on time delay will be uh, the instruction itself plus two no ops, that's three cycles. The off time delay will be the instruction itself, the BSF, uh, plus a go to, which is one plus two is three cycles. So that will completely symmetricalize this loop. So I'm going to move that no op into the on time. So here I am in MP Lab IDE, and uh, I'm going to take this no op from the uh, off part of the loop, cut that out, Control X, and paste it into the on part of the loop, Control V. So now the on part of the loop has uh, the switch on command, BCF GPIO, two no ops. The off part has the switch off, BC, uh, BSF. GPIO and the go to, which we know is two machine cycles. So that should now be completely symmetrical. And uh, Jens Jensen suggested that I uh, 
use a slightly larger font on this, so that's what I've done. So thanks, Jens. Uh, this should now be more visible on mobile devices. So, new version of the program. It has two, two no ops as a delay for the on time and a single go to as the delay for the off time. That's programmed in, and I think you can see quite clearly that that is now symmetrically on and off the same amount of time. Question is though, why does a go to which simply writes a new address to the program counter, why does that take two machine cycles, whereas pretty much all the other instructions only takes one? In fact, it's only the branches that take two machine cycles. Well, that's a bit more tricky to explain, so I'll do that in another update to these PIC tutorials. For the moment though, cheerio.